what's up guys just wanted to show you a few of the new parts I got for the water cooling that I'm going to be doing pretty soon on the Antec 1200 uh, first off starting with the uh, EK Supreme HF the nickel plexi version nickel plated for the socket 1366 um, clear plexi I like that so you'll be able to see the coolant going through and that'll be good. for the motherboard full motherboard water block for the EVGA X58 LE edition 3-way SLI so that I'm pretty excited about I like the white version a little better than the black one reason being is I'm going to be going with white half inch diameter phaser tube it's UV reactive will glow blue under UV light I'm also going with the black fittings from bits power I want to try to run as little as tubing as possible so I'm probably going to be doing a bunch of 45 degree angles um, so just kind of give you an idea kind of show you what it's probably going to look like <clears throat> going to be running 45 degrees out of the CPU as well as the motherboard water block <clears throat> so coming out of the block it'll end up looking something similar to that um, which direction I'm not sure yet until I get everything installed so coming out of the motherboard water block something similar to that um, as far as the I mean, these are the only parts I've gotten so far, but just to give you an idea, let's go over to the case. <clears throat> I will probably be running long ways up here at the top. It's probably where I'm going to go ahead and put a reservoir and then the pump down here if I can get it to fit. If not, then I'll do something else creative. I don't know. I might take one of the fans out in the drive bays in the middle or the top one, put a pump there somewhere. But um, I've got a UV light that's up at the top, which you can kind of... There you go. You can see it there. It's not on. But that, and I'll probably put another one behind where I end up putting the reservoir, so get some UV reactive coolant. And that should look pretty sweet and then I've also got this which I've had for a while it's the phaser Mazda radiator the white edition one I ended up getting that from a guy on YouTube um, and got it for 90 something dollars it's got some uh, let me show you guys it's got some coolant stains on it there's a little bit there I'm not sure if you can tell some little pink coolant stains <clears throat> I think it's the other side that's worse give me a second I mean, you can see the staining from the pink coolant. There's some right there. No big deal. I mean, I might actually, actually also all along down the side right there. Get a better angle, see if you can see it. You can barely see it. But I'll probably take this and get it painted again. No big deal. Um, got some little chipping there. But yeah, I mean, I shit, good deal on it for the price. And this thing is massive. 
I mean, just look at the size of that. And that'll be uh, mounting to the back of the 1200. Um, I think. I'm not sure. Yeah, I'll put it inside the computer. Yeah, right. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure. I mean... In the front... Shit, it's almost as big as the damn case. I don't know. We'll kind of see how it goes. So I'm not exactly sure how the whole setup's going to go. But I was pretty happy to pick this up. I saw him uh, post it. And shit, just got it right away. As soon as I saw the video posted, sent him a message and said I want it. So pretty happy with that. So again, I've got the pump left to get. Um, reservoir. More fittings, obviously. Um, not going to do anything with the water cooling until I get my new cards. So, waiting, waiting for the GTX 480s. So, it's going to be a while before I get all of this in there. Because I need to wait for somebody to make water blocks for it and all that good stuff. Whether or not the cards are going to come out. I know there's going to be limited availability, so I'll just keep my fingers crossed that I can get them when I want them. I've got the money ready for them. Just waiting for them to drop. Um, I'll be getting them from EVGA. Uh, I love their stuff, obviously. My side panel mod, it's got EVGA on it, so it just makes sense. But um, other than that, any other suggestions, man, let me know. Um, and then I'll just kind of go from there. I'm also going to be getting the uh, the Bits Power dress-up kit for the pump. Because I think that makes it look pretty sweet. But trying to go with as little tubing as possible. I don't want the whole case just filled with tubing everywhere and excess tubing. That's why I'm getting the uh, 45 degree angles. And the cool thing about these too, man, when you, when you get them on, they swivel. So that way you get the direction that you actually want. But just wanted to give you guys a quick update. Um, everybody's been telling me, you need to go water cooling, you need to go water cooling. I know. <laughs> I've been back and forth on deciding whether or not to do that. I put a lot of money in it already, so I just didn't want to fork out more money. But what the hell. I got bored. So go ahead and get all this in eventually. When it'll happen, I don't know. Um, also, too, I mean, if there's anybody interested, I've got a couple extra things left over. I've got the uh, four-channel uh, Corsair Dominator fan. I peeled off the sticker, so it's all black. Uh, it's sleeved as well. And then also, with the new... Shit, it's not even open. Oh yeah, it is. Duh. I've only looked at it like ten times. I've also got the uh, six stick cooler. And I just didn't want to put them in because I get tired of the loudness of the small RAM fans. And then this one came sleeved as well. So I didn't do that. It already came like that. So if you guys are interested, let me know. Um, and, uh, we'll just kind of go from there. I'll probably make a short video of the build I did for my brother. Um, really just using a lot of my old stuff, which is still good shit. Uh, it's the Antec 900 NVIDIA Edition. Um, so all the green lights and the fans, uh, ended up putting my EVGA, uh, 790i Ultra motherboard in there. He's got the GTX 280. A couple guys have asked me if I wanted to sell it, but he's got it now. Um, four gigs of Corsair Dominator RAM. So he's got a pretty good system. Um, I ended up giving him, I think, my old E8400 dual-core processor. So Let me know if you guys are interested in the fans. Like I said, I've got them extra. And just send me a private message if you want them. And this is graphics, I'll talk to you guys later. See ya.